Hello, welcome to Review Show. My name is Uriah, we have here. Braxton Jacobs. Tucker B. Walls. And today, the first item we're reviewing out of the three is a SkyPoint Flex Sim Pack Trail Cellular Trail Cam. Sorry. Uh, you need no Wi-Fi to run this. It has GPS in case you lose it, night vision, dual SIM. Uh, it, has, it is water resistant. It has 20 MP photos and 720p video plus sound. The quality looks pretty well made on these cams. I feel like they do good, take good pictures when you want to kill your buck this year or your deer. And on a scale of 10, I'll probably rate this a 9. Well, it's pretty cool, but I'm not really a hunter at all. So, just because of that, probably like a 4.5 out of 10. It looks pretty nice. It connects to your phone, so you could be anywhere in the world as long as you have Wi-Fi or service and you could look at it. That's yeah. pretty nice sometimes when you're really far away. You could put this in front of your house and have it as your sentry camera. I, just I would probably put it at a score of 9 out of 10 because Whoa. it's really nice and you have two of them. Yeah, it's for 119 for two cameras is pretty nice, but it doesn't carry in our state. The next item we have on the list is a S ranch hand summit front bumper for a Chevy Silverado 1500. Um, it fit on your eyes Tahoe, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Which is, it'd be cool on his Tahoe. So, probably rate it like. What do like you an do? eight out of ten. Would you ever use this bumper in your truck at all? No, I'd never use it on mine. I don't think it fit. Oh, uh, what kind of? Do you have a bumper on yours? No. Oh, you don't. Um. What about you, Ryan? Your, your, uh, hmm. The quality looks well made. You can put fog lights on the bottom like you usually do. They have like old grates you can put the stuff in. Um. They, I like the the grates, the window. It protects your in case you hit anything. I probably and it has a license plate holder, so you don't have to think about that. I'll probably rate this on a scale of 10 and 8. Tucker, how do you feel about this? It's pretty nice looking. I actually have this bumper guard. Or it's pretty, uh, the one I have on my last pickup was pretty close to this one, and you could hit a lot of stuff, and it wouldn't, you would barely feel it. Yeah, Tucker hit a lot of stuff. Are you ever going to put a bumper guard on your new pickup, or are you just going to leave it bare? I don't know if I really want to. But I might. We'll see so, how many stuff I hit. So what do you think of this one? I think on a score of 1 to 10, it's probably a 9 easy. 9 easy? Probably a 10, depending on what pickup you put it on. Yeah. Or a CV. And for the last item, Tucker? A Pittsburgh 225-piece mechanic tool kit. I really like this toolkit because I personally have one and the wrenches and sockets are really nice. They really work good and they don't rust ever. If you leave it if you leave it in the rain it's probably gonna rust, but I've actually just... had these out in the rain and they didn't rust. Yeah, I mean but the you... pliers did, so you gotta watch that. Um these pieces, there's a lot of tools in here. There's like a lot of sockets and stuff and other things. So I feel like this would be really handy on the road, trying to fix anything. Um, the metal, it looks great quality. The metal looks good, pretty good. And on a scale of 10, I'll probably rate this a 10 out of 10. It looks very compact, which would be good. Probably fit it in very small spaces. Oh yeah. For that reason, probably like a seven out of 10. What do you rate this? I don't think you rate it. A 10 it. out of 10, easy. Yeah. These, there's so much like things you can do, and there's like extenders in here too for it. Oh, and we almost forgot to say the cost for this one. It's $184. Oh, and also for the bumper, it was... A lot. It was $1,744 for the ranch hand bumper. I'm going ahead and end it right here with all of this, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See ya.